Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at equilibrium. We're going to talk about what is meant by dynamic equilibrium, the features of a system at dynamic equilibrium, and explain the term position of equilibrium. Equilibrium constants Kc and Kp and Le Chatelier's principle have been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about equilibrium, there are a couple of ideas you need to be comfortable with. The rate of a reaction refers to how quickly it is occurring. This can be considered as either the speed at which the products get formed in the reaction, or the speed in which the reactants get used up. Faster rate of reaction means quicker reaction. Recap done? Let's go! Many reactions and processes in chemistry are reversible. A reversible reaction is one in which the reaction can proceed in both directions. Reactants can react to form products in what is called the forward reaction, and these products can also react to form the reactants in what is called the backwards or reverse reaction. For example, hydrogen and iodine gas can be reacted together to form hydrogen iodide. Hydrogen iodide, the product, is also able to react of itself and form hydrogen and iodine. This means the reaction is reversible. There is a forward reaction, hydrogen and iodine reacting together, and a backwards reaction, hydrogen iodide forming hydrogen and iodine. For some reversible reactions, like the one just shown, if reactants are mixed together and start to form products, there will be a mixture formed that contains both the reactants and products of the forward reaction. This means now both the forward and reverse reactions can happen. These reactants and products keep constantly reacting. If the forward and reverse reactions occur at the same rate, the amounts of all substances in the mixture will be constant, as whenever reactants react to form one mole's worth of product, in the same length of time, one mole's worth of product will have reacted to reform reactants, meaning there is no overall change in moles of reactants or products in the mixture. When this is happening, the system is said to be in a state of dynamic equilibrium. For example, let's think about hydrogen and iodine again. If we mixed some hydrogen and iodine gas together in a sealed container, they would start to react and form hydrogen iodide. The sealed container makes the system closed. No particles can get in or out. At the start, there will be lots of hydrogen and iodine molecules, meaning a high concentration of both. They will collide together frequently, and the rate of the forward reaction will be high. As a result, the product hydrogen iodide will be produced very quickly, and its concentration will start to increase. The concentrations of hydrogen and iodine will start to decrease, however, and this will slow down the rate of the forward reaction. As hydrogen iodide starts to get formed, it can start to react to form hydrogen and iodine, the backwards or reverse reaction. Initially, there is a low concentration of hydrogen iodide, meaning the rate of this reverse reaction is pretty slow. However, as the concentration of hydrogen iodide starts to increase from more of the hydrogen and iodine reacting together, the rate of the backward reaction will start to increase and will happen faster. As time goes on then, the rate of the forward reaction decreases and the rate of the reverse reaction increases. Eventually, there will come a point where the rates of both become the same. In the time it takes for one mole of hydrogen and iodine to react and form two moles of hydrogen iodide, two moles of hydrogen iodide will also react and form one mole of hydrogen and one mole of iodine. Once this point is reached, the concentrations of everything in the mixture no longer change. This is dynamic equilibrium. The word in here is really important. The dynamic part refers to the fact that both the forward and reverse reactions are still happening. 
In our example, hydrogen and iodine are constantly colliding and forming hydrogen iodide, and hydrogen iodide is constantly reacting to form hydrogen and iodine. The equilibrium part refers to the fact that the rates of both reactions are the same, and it looks like the system isn't changing at all. Concentrations of everything stay the same, and all physical properties of the system, like colour, temperature and pressure, stay the same as a result. There are four features of a dynamic equilibrium system. One, concentrations of everything in the system remain constant. As a result, observable properties like colour also remain constant and don't change. Two, reactions are still occurring just in balance. The rates of the forward and reverse reactions are the same. Three, it can be obtained from either direction. This means that it doesn't matter whether you start with a mixture of reactants or products for the reversible reaction. Dynamic equilibrium will still eventually be reached. Four, it can only be achieved in a closed system. This is really important. No particles can be allowed to get in or out of a system if it is to reach dynamic equilibrium. The thing that students often find a bit confusing is the fact that although the concentrations of everything at equilibrium are constant, they definitely do not have to be the same as each other. Remember, equilibrium is reached when the rate of forward and reverse reactions become the same. Let's imagine you have two cities, A and B, and they are joined by a railway. In city A there are 1 million people, and in city B there are 2 million people. If the trains going between them constantly carry the same number of people each way, the total number of people in each city will be constant. It will never change. We could describe these two cities as in a state of dynamic equilibrium, as weird as that may seem. The point here is that the two cities contain different numbers of people, but as the rate of exchange of people between the two is the same, the numbers don't change. It's just like this for a chemical system at equilibrium. Just like the two cities A and B have different numbers of people in, equilibrium systems in chemistry can have reactants and products that also have different concentrations. We describe the relationship between the amounts of products and reactants in the equilibrium mixture as the position of equilibrium. The more reactants there are compared to the products, the less the forward reaction is said to be favoured compared to the backward reaction, and the position of equilibrium is said to lie to the left. The more products there are in the mixture compared to reactants, the more the forward reaction is said to be favoured compared to the backward reaction, and the position of equilibrium is said to lie to the right. <laughs> to use our cities example here, it's a bit like saying that because more people are in city B at equilibrium, the position of equilibrium lies to the right. Exact ratios of products to reactants can be found using concentrations, and positions of equilibrium can be described using equilibrium constants, such as Kc and Kp. These have been covered in separate videos, check the links in the description below. It is really important to understand that positions of equilibrium aren't based on the starting concentrations or masses of reactants. Regardless of the starting amounts, after enough time, a particular reaction in a closed system will end up with the same ratio of reactant concentrations to product concentrations, if the conditions are the same. Again, this idea is outlined in a bit more detail with the video on the equilibrium constant Kc. There are two types of equilibrium system, heterogeneous and homogeneous. For a heterogeneous system, the mixture contains substances that are present in different states. For example, solid calcium carbonate, CaCO3, can be heated to form solid calcium oxide, CaO, and carbon dioxide, CO2, gas. This reaction is reversible, and if solid calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas are mixed together, they react to form, surprise surprise, solid calcium carbonate. 
If solid calcium carbonate is heated in a sealed container at a constant pressure and temperature, an equilibrium system will form between solid calcium carbonate, solid calcium oxide and gaseous carbon dioxide. There are both solids and gases involved in the equilibrium, meaning the system is described as heterogeneous. If all reactants and products in the system are in the same state, the system is referred to as homogeneous. For example, hydrogen iodine and hydrogen iodide, in the earlier example, are all in gaseous state, meaning the equilibrium system formed would be homogeneous. So, to summarise. Reversible reactions describe reactions that can occur in both directions. Reactants can react to form products in the forward reaction and the products can react to form the reactants in the reverse or backwards reaction. In a closed system, reversible reactions will reach dynamic equilibrium when the rates of the forward and reverse reactions become the same. When this happens, concentrations of all reactants and products remain constant. Other properties such as colour, pressure and temperature don't change at this point. The system is described as dynamic because reactants and products are still reacting constantly and at equilibrium because the forward and reverse reactions occur at the same rate. Equilibrium gets reached because as reactants are used up to form products, the forward reaction rate slows and the reverse reaction rate increases, meaning there will come a point where the rates of reaction will end up being the same and remain so. At dynamic equilibrium, the concentrations of everything in the mixture become constant, but the concentrations don't have to be the same as each other. Positions of equilibrium describe how the concentrations of products compare to reactants in the mixture. If there is a greater percentage of products of the forward reaction compared to the reactants, the position of equilibrium is said to lie to the right. If there is a greater percentage of reactants of the forward reaction compared to the products, position of equilibrium is said to lie to the left. Homogeneous systems refer to a system where all reactants and products are in the same phase. Heterogeneous systems refer to a system where reactants and products are in two or more different phases. There are four features of dynamic equilibrium. Concentrations of all substances present are constant and physical properties, such as colour, don't change. Reactions between substances are still occurring, just in balance and at the same rate as each other. The equilibrium can be obtained from either direction and the equilibrium can only be achieved in a closed system. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.